So you know what? It's true. Sometimes a book isn't bad. Sometimes you're just really not in a mood for it. And you end up liking it at the end of the day when you give it a second shot. That's how I feel about Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. Love Redesigned is a popular book on TikTok. The, what is this? This is the Lakefront Billionaire. So that's a very popular um, series that's happening around on TikTok and BookTube at the moment. I believe the third one maybe has come out recently. I'm not exactly sure how many are out right now, but I remember something about Disneyland with that one. And people have been kind of back and forth. There's like debate, friendly debate on which book is good. And some people will actually only like the Disney one. And I don't know. But this is your typical, you know, a duo or dual. I'm not sure what it is. POV, point of view. You've got one character, the man, Julian. You've got the woman, Dahlia. You go back and forth between them a little bit. And Julian here is a, a very rich man. He's a billionaire. His father died and then he ended up picking up his dad's business and he ended up making a lot of money becoming a billionaire. And then Dahlia is like an interior design house slipper type of person and Julian and Dahlia grew up together but I feel like yeah they weren't like childhood best friends they were more like childhood enemies frenemies if you will they did go to college together so they were a bit friendly and they started to fall for each other but then Julian here decided to back out of that because his dad died so it is a second chance romance I originally tried to give that book a shot on Kindle Unlimited when I had Kindle Unlimited and I wasn't getting into it. I think I read two, three chapters and then I kind of just did away with it. Now granted this was during a time where I was trying to read as much as possible because I needed to cancel my Kindle Unlimited to save some money but it wasn't pulling me in. But then I saw that book. I saw this book on the book swap table at the last silent book club that I went to and I thought, you know what, let me give it a shot because I forgot my main reading book, but also because I have grabby hands at that table. We're allowed to take as many books as we want and I donate a chunk myself, so. But once I started to read this, I was really getting into it. You know, they, they meet together again because Dahlia ended up moving back from San Francisco, my favorite American city in the world. She ended up moving away back home from San Francisco because her engagement has broken. And she was actually engaged to Julian's ex-roommate. And they started dating after Julian dumped her and, you know, left her behind and whatever. Some of the reviews on Goodreads say that they find the characters boring. They're kind of just plain Jane. And you know what? Maybe that's true. But I really didn't hate it. I liked Julian a lot. Dahlia was kind of, you know what, no. I liked Dahlia all right too. I think she was fun. And Julian didn't annoy me. None of them really annoyed me so much. Like, you know, they had their problems and you kind of wanted to smack them upside the head and say, would you two just confess and stop being annoying and stop being like, oh my God, I need to pull away from this and make it not happen because I'm so, they are so better off without me. You know, they deserve better. You kind of want to smack them, you know, upside the head for that. But it wasn't so annoying. And the best part about this is no third act breakup. You would think it would happen because this thing is 500 freaking pages long, but no. There is no third act breakup. There is no person that comes back to try to, you know, ruin the new relationship. Dahlia's ex-fiance does not try to do that type of thing. He continues to be a butthead, actually, so I'm glad he didn't try anything. I would say the most that happens is there is that type of there's a bit of a pool where you think that it's gonna happen because again Dahlia starts doing this oh I need to like just pack back up I need to move back to San Francisco because of my show that I'm finally getting again because my last one was ruined by my ex-fiance so you're almost kind of worried that it's gonna happen I'm at page 400 and I'm thinking okay when are they gonna break up for like forever before they finally you know come to their senses but it doesn't happen and I'm so happy about that. Occasionally I don't mind 
a third act breakup, but I feel like every single damn book that I've read thus far in my like year long so far time of getting back into reading and being focused on like romance books, especially from TikTok authors, it's just everywhere and it's annoying me. And then it's there in TV shows and movies that I watch. Movies, it's okay. It's like an hour and a half on average, but TV shows and all of that, so annoying. So this was a nice bit of fresh air here. Admittedly, once I got to like the last couple of chapters, I was kind of skimming a little bit. I don't know if I was impatient. Maybe it was because I was reading at my friend's and he suddenly came home. And so I'm just trying to like hurry up and like read through the rest of it because like I'm almost done and I can't read in peace now. <laughs> now because I imagined Julian as David Castaneda the whole time, I really, really, really like Julian, and there is some smut in this, there are some sex scenes in this. I, I, I actually quite like them, and I was, the only thing I was upset about is that there wasn't more of it, <laughs> especially like near the end. Give us one final shebang. Now I mentioned this in another video, I typically don't like dirty talk in these books because as a concept, I love it, but when it's in actual words written out, I cringe and I think it's written not so great. And the only time I've ever actually really liked it was in He's Not My Type by Megan Quinn. But this was just the right amount. Actually, I would have preferred more because I liked it so much. But it was just done correctly in my opinion. It wasn't too much and cringy, but it wasn't like, wow, that's a very weak attempt. And then just the sex scenes themselves, I was quite happy with it and I do wish there was a little bit more because I'm, I'm, I'm lonely and it's been too long. Overall, I'm glad I gave this another shot and I would actually continue to read the rest of the series. So whatever is the next one, I'm happy with that. I will say this, there was a bit of an oops in this particular copy. I don't know how often this happened, but one, this was a Barnes & Noble exclusive which there's some special content in here and I'm not sure what that was. Maybe it was the extended epilogue. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was the extended epilogue, but oh, so the next book is going to be a uh, Rafa's story that's released this year. Is that the Disneyland one that just came out then? I don't know, but there's one page in here. I don't know what page it is, but it's during one of the sex scenes. The same paragraph is put on twice right after one another and it kind of threw me in for a loop when I was reading it I was like wait a second I don't know what happened there but there you go <laughs> it's not a deal breaker by any means it was a one-time thing that one paragraph but I just it just threw me off for a minute but yeah glad I gave it another shot I want to go check out the next one from the library I'm sure somewhere there's a copy around here or maybe I'll get lucky and find it at a book swap or something. A little free library. Let me know what you thought of this book. Let me know if you've read more of the series. If you would like more book reviews, book talk, communication, commentary. I have a Patreon page. So I might have a write-up of that sometime this week when this goes up. But that tier is $5 a month. So if you've got that, I would love to have you over. But regardless, for as low as a dollar a month, you get exclusive content updates and things like that. So I would very much appreciate it. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I would love to have you. As with the cats. And I will see you later. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.